because you'll really burn somebody out quickly. Mm -hmm. I think with push, you'll burn someone out so quickly that they'll just delete your app entirely. Mm. Whereas with email, you could burn someone out, but they'll just unsubscribe and they could still be an active customer of yours. Whereas if you hit someone with too many push notifications, they're just going to delete your app because that's the easiest way of getting rid of them. I think it's, it's probably on the lower end that someone would go in and fully turn off push notifications instead of just deleting the app entirely. So mm. with push, you run the risk of losing a user a lot quicker. And I think when you're thinking of marketing strategies, keeping that in mind, push is best for anything time sensitive. So relating to a point in time, I think of like Uber telling me that, you know, the restaurants confirm my order and that it's on the way. Um, so things that are time sensitive, I'm like, yes, thank you. It's kind of transactional in nature or really good for re-engaging lapsed users. So someone who hasn't been on your app in a week's time or a month's time and you're trying to get them back into your app just with a push notification. Whereas email is a lot better for longer form educational content, um, maybe better for you know onboarding your users or describing payment terms or providing maybe a confirmational receipt. That's something that you can go back and search, whereas push it's going to be that one screenshot in time that will be really difficult to refine.